Our special series, Food Production in Africa, continues. When it comes to farming, the seed is both the beginning and the end. But these tiny parcels of life are not created equal. Advancements in genetic engineering means that seed science is changing the way people farm all over the world. Kenya and Tunisia give us a glimpse into what seed science is all about and why it's so important to Africa's food security. If a man is only as good as his tools, then it could be said that a farmer is only as good as his seeds. And that's exactly where seed scientists come in, as the effects of climate change wreak havoc on crops and harvests across the continent, scientists are hard at work developing new seed varieties that can withstand the evolving environmental challenges of our times. I visited a maize breeding and research facility just outside Nairobi to find out more. Maize is one of the most important food crops in sub-Saharan Africa. It's consumed by 50% of the population and grown by over 300 million smallholder farmers. But maize is notoriously sensitive, easily susceptible to disease, drought and insect infestations. These challenges have worsened in recent years due to climate change. But that's where seed scientists or maize breeders like Josef Beyene come in. At this breeding facility of the International Maize and Wheat Improvement Center, Yosef and his team are working on a range of experiments that hold great promise for the future of farming in Africa. Situated in Koboko, about 150 kilometers outside Nairobi, this dry region is ideal for testing drought tolerance. Uh, we planted this uh, different kind of germplasm on June 5. And the last irrigation uh, we gave here is on uh, the la in July 24. So that's the last time any of these received water was July 24th? That's right. Okay. So from July 24 until now, there is no any supplemental irrigation or rainfall. So what you can see here, the one which is a drought tolerant, you can see is still green. Uh, the leaves are green and the cobs are full and then the one which is susceptible is oh, completely dry and you can see there is no yield so the difference between these two is because of the genetics so uh, this particular variety has a gene which can tolerate drought so this is the one we want to give to the farmers mm. Another promising study is the development of a seed variety that is resistant to the fall armyworm, an infestation that has, since 2016, destroyed billions of dollars worth of maize harvests across much of Africa. Mm -hmm. So it just eats the leaves mm -hmm. and it eats the, uh, the tassel, it also eats the silk and finally it goes to uh, the ear. Uh, so this is the last stage of our testing. And now we'll just announce after we just see all the data and we will announce and some seed companies they will pick it and then a mm. farmer will, will get it. So I think we are so much excited about this. Uh, if you compare this one, the one which is out there. So you think this will be a game changer for, for farmers, for food security when it comes to maize in Kenya? I, yeah, I think we can say it's just a one, one step ahead. Uh, so it's a breeding is a continuous process. Uh, so this is the first stage, the first fall armyworm tolerant. After a couple of years, we'll also want to just make another a very even better than this. Mm. The exercise of breeding different maize varieties is meticulous labor intensive work, and it can take many years to produce the perfect breed. The next phase of seed science is speeding up that breeding process. So that's why breeding is always you breed for the future. If you start now, uh, the maize hybrid might be available after 10 to 15 years. So all those hybrids which is developed 10, 20 years ago will not now uh, perform under the current uh, climate situation. So that's why you have to accelerate also the breeding process. 
Successful varieties go from the breeding facility to seed companies who are tasked with multiplying the seeds and encouraging farmers to adopt them. We are a seed uh, producer mm -hmm. and uh, uh, marketer and uh, what we normally do is that uh, we source, breed, promote and, mark and distribute seeds across Africa. We have uh, a robust program whereby we have agronomists on the ground mm. in the field mm. who normally goes to small scale farmers, even large scale farmers and train them on the seed technologies that we have. And recently actually because of the, uh, the activities that we do, we were ranked number one in Eastern mm. and Southern Africa. For the farmer, improved seeds means improved yields and for consumers, that means another day of enjoying one of our favorite foods. Feeding Africa's growing population in the face of climate change is a priority for this generation. But with the help of science and improved seeds, we may just be one step closer to achieving that goal.